This is a message to all the black people, especially you black women. I keep hearing on the internet, feeling sorry for people like Woody and this dude named Munch Tonk or whatever these bitch ass niggas names is. These dudes are killers and they turn to snitches. Y'all act like they sign these plea agreements with somebody with a pew pew pointed to their head or something. They was trying to get out of jail time. They don't give a damn about thug. They care about themselves. Y'all heard all the stuff Woody did. Now you hear this dude right here telling you that he committed a drive-by. Y'all see this man in all these pictures and videos holding up pew pews and throwing up YSL gang signs? What's wrong with the black community, man? I, something wrong with y'all? What, what is it that y'all cheering for the people that's unaliving people in y'all city and neighborhoods. These dudes is gangsters. What do they need to do? Do they need to unalive your husband or son or brother or something? Because y'all got to be stupid as fuck to feel sorry for these dudes. They go around terrorizing people, man. Y'all, is y'all crazy? Y'all keep talking about all oh, Miss Love, she this, she that. Man, it's her job to put these people in jail. And y'all be talking about how y'all want the community to change, how y'all want a better life for y'all kids. But all you grown, especially you grown black women online talking about how y'all feel sorry for these murderers, these gangbangers that was running people crazy in the music industry in Atlanta. Huh? Drive-bys. Here, let me let you hear him say it out his own mouth so it can sink into your black ass mushed brain. I committed a drive-by shoot. To show you don't mess with YSL. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. So you heard him. He committed a drive-by. He just testified that he did that. Here, let's listen to him testify that he sold drugs. Baggies or drugs did you sell? I probably had a personal pack that I was smoking on. If someone came, I probably sold him some out of my pack. Is that the only place in Atlanta that you sold drugs? 151 Cleveland Avenue. No, I sold drugs. I mean, look, I've been selling drugs probably all my life, but it don't have nothing to do with why I said. Why I said wasn't even thought about when I started selling drugs. Okay. <laughs> so you got a rug dealer, a drive-by shooter, that's the head of your security for a so-called rap label, which was really a gang, which was already testified by they number one artist, Gunner. I mean, I mean, what else do, I mean, I can't understand why people, I don't know, man. I, I think our community is just sick in the brain because we keep saying we want something different in life. But when we sit here and watch the criminals being prosecuted, something just won't let us think straight. You start thinking like idiots. You start looking for excuses for these criminals. This man had a lawyer. He wasn't signing no papers like some young little 10 year old. This man is a grown man with a bunch of kids. The only reason you would want somebody like him or Woody or Young Thug to go free 
is because you part of the bullshit. And you love being part of bullshit. Because you ain't got shit else going for you. Man, motherfuckers need to wake the fuck up, man. Inside the mafia. I'm out.